Hey. Oh, right, Dana. Uh, what are we doing, actually? So, today we're going to attempt to fit me into the Stormtrooper armor. Yeah, it is from, uh, on one of my past videos, it was a, uh, we actually did a video of me putting this on, and it fit a fully adult, grown male, sort of. Now we're gonna try to fit this bulky armor from Ruby's that a friend of mine got to me in college onto this person. <laughs> yep, I'm like... Super tiny. Yeah, so we'll uh, try to put it on, put a little hyperlapse video on, and uh, sort of, I guess, kind of do a second review on this uh, poorly made Stone Trooper armor. I, don't ask why we're doing this, we just thought it would be fun. Yep, it was. Oh wait, so if you saw that little uh, hyperlapse video on this armor, uh, I stored it in a really, really bad um, way in a storage container. Because this was made by a company called Rubies. So, you know, this part broke off with the plastic. That's actually kind of important. Kind of important here. See you there. Um, and this is made out of like plastic, and you see like all the tiny parts of Velcro everywhere. Any like social armor that's now doesn't have any of these small Velcro things. And the suit that she's wearing right now has a bunch of Velcro parts. Out of the ten minutes of us trying, what? yep, there goes my hand. Out of ten minutes of trying, yeah, just 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 let the arms go. I, I try to fall. Yes, it's fine. Wee! Yeah, okay, <laughs> cool. So this is, uh, this is not for a tiny adult woman, give or take. This is not even good for me when I wore this costume to sort of reveal it either. It just sucks, don't buy it. Yeah, it, like, to get social armor, find other places. Etsy has one, actually. Or go on a 500 Force Legion form if that still exists when this goes around. Um, this armor redux, let me see. It, like, it, it, to be honest, it did have like the look of the armor, but this Velcro is so easy to get off and it does not last long. And with her arms, you kind of like this. You literally cannot move, you cannot sit. Like, well, I mean, with regular armor, you can't sit anyway, but at least you can bend your arms and walk a little bit. Because, well, uh, if you lift your leg. Oh, yeah, this is. Like, so each part is, is important. So some parts you gotta put on the same. Oh my god, look, I just found more Velcro straps. Oh, see, yeah, I'm way too short. It's, yeah, and it's for that. But yeah, definitely don't buy. This is a Redux kind of, even though I said it in my initial review, don't buy this armor. Just find other armor makers, official, social armor things. Yeah, and the most part about it too. Does that, this helmet doesn't even look like a small trooper. Alright. It's like, look, look, look at the, the uh, bug eyes. See, I keep getting a hold of this one. And I'll, I'll, oh I'll, god, yeah, that, that's yeah. weird. And I'll just grab this one, that one that I have here. And this is a proper small trooper here. What were they thinking? They, they weren't thinking. They were like, oh wait, this is the most affordable thing. I mean, it's... Just... Oh, like I see no purpose to make them all 3D. Yeah, 3D and bug-eyed. It's not the visor at least. See a little comparison and contrast. It's somewhat similar, but this looks like a AliExpress with shot console trooper. This is official. Oh wait, I just noticed something else. What's see up? these ridges here? How they're all like um engraved? Yeah. This is a sticker. Holy, holy crap. They is... printed that on. Wow, this is just stickers. And, and that, yeah, they printed all of that on. Oh my god, yeah. These, these are actually engraved. This helmet's way better. But, uh, yeah, that's this video of this. Don't, don't, don't buy this one. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much about it. Bye!